Unlike hand saws that require you to move their blades manually, the power saws do nearly all of the work for you. Powered by either corded electricity or batteries, they're both efficient and accurate if you know what you're doing. Whether you're using your power saw for a quick cut or a large-scale project, they'll get the job done quickly and easily. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the 5 best power saws that you can get your hand on this year. And if you want more information, we also put the link in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 5, we have the dual DWD-74 91RS table saw. Thanks to a rolling stand and compact size at 31 by 24.5 by 31 inches and weight at 110 pounds, with the 15 amp combines power and mobility, making it a valuable addition to a garage or workshop. The rolling stand of the DeWalt DWD-74 91RS allows you to easily wheel it around the garage or driveway while you're working. When you're finished for the day, the unit breaks down quickly and can be stored away with a minimal footprint. Its telescopic rack and pinion fence rail extends the rip capacity, making it possible to accept 4 by 8 foot sheets of plywood or MDF. This rail flexibility is a big part of what makes the DeWalt DWE 7491RS such a great choice. It also has several valuable safety features including a blade guard, push stick, and power loss reset function. This mechanism will automatically turn the saw to the off position. If the power goes out while it's in operation and without it, the saw would immediately start back up when the power turned back on. Its 2.5-inch dust collection port cuts down on sawdust buildup in and around the saw, but you will need to provide your own bag or vacuum to make it work. This dust collector, combined with an easy-to-read miter gauge and blade height adjustment lever, makes it easy to execute accurate and straight cuts. We also like how the guard, fences, and wrenches are stored inside the unit itself. This convenient design reduces the chances of forgetting or losing a piece of important equipment. We always had nothing but great experiences with DeWalt tools and found that their warranties and customer service are top-notch. Next up at number 4, we have the Makita XBJ03 Cordless Jigsaw. The cordless Makita XBJ03Z strikes the ideal balance between power and convenience thanks to its 18-volt motor, 3 orbital settings, and LED work light. Jigsaws are one of the most useful cutting tools, but they require a significant amount of control and focus to be used effectively. The Makita is designed with this emphasis on ease of use, making it a great jigsaw option for beginners and professionals alike. The unit come at 36 by 123 by 91 inches in size and weight at 6 pounds, and built in a variable speed motor that delivers from 0 to 2,600 strokes per minute for faster and more efficient cutting. The rubberized, soft grip handle is one of my favorite parts of this tool because it allows you to maintain maximum control while you cut. The variable speed trigger provides even more control. Its three orbital settings allow you to customize its cutting action as well making it ideal for precise tasks. It's also a powerful cutting when precision is less of a priority. Its lightweight cuts back on user fatigue that comes in handy during larger jobs and extended cuts especially with tough materials like sheet metal. I'm a big fan of the balance of this tool and have always felt it was more comfortable to use than similar options. The built-in dust blower doesn't just keep your workspace clean and also clears debris from your cut line as you work. The included LED light helps even more, illuminating your work area and increasing accuracy as well as safety. It's not the cheapest option on the market, but the inclusion of two hefty 3.0 amps hour batteries makes it worth it in my opinion. We love Makita batteries which have an impressive running time. Plus, their 30-minute recharging time is quick. At the number 3, we have the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Super Sawzall. The cordless Milwaukee M18 Fuel Super Sawzall is rugged enough to chew through heavy-duty demolition projects while staying mobile and comfortable to handle. With no cord to restrict your movement, the battery-powered M18 Sawzall allows you to bring its heavy-duty power and effectiveness virtually anywhere. This makes this tool ideal for basic demolition work or pruning trees in the backyard. It also features an orbital setting which adds a slight circular motion to the blade's back and forth action. This makes it much more effective when cutting through soft materials like wood or plastic. If you plan on using this saw for a lot of lumber demolition, this setting is absolutely a necessity. One of my favorite features of the Milwaukee Sawzall is the thick rubber overmold that surrounds the handle. This allows you to comfortably hold the saw in a variety of angles and position it however you need for your specific task. The rubber grip also increases safety, decreasing your chance of losing your grip while operating. 
The bulky size at 18 by 7 by 4.5 inches and weight 6.8 pounds, the M18 Sawzall might turn some customers off, but it's often worth the extra bulk to get the job done fast. The biggest potential drawback to the M18 Sawzall is that unlike corded models, you'll have to manage its battery usage during longer projects. If you already have similar tools in the Milwaukee M18 family, you'll have additional batteries to extend the saws in the runtime. At the number two, we have the DeWalt DWS 715. The DeWalt DWS 715 is a great all-around miter saw, it's easy to use for beginners, and it still has the precision necessary for professional projects. The unit has a nice weight just at 42.8 pounds with its size at 26.77 by 21.85 by 18.9 inches, and it's solid enough to provide a sturdy foundation while you work, while still light enough to transport around a job site. My favorite part of the DeWalt DWS 715 is that, despite its sturdy construction, it's remarkably easy to maneuver the blade while you work. Whether you're chopping straight cuts on 2x4s, tilting it for bevels, or pivoting for miter cuts, the trigger arm moves smoothly without much effort. The included carbide blade has a nice cutting capacity. The sliding fences are also nice and tall, supporting up to 7.5 inches of material, and the included clamp keeps everything nice and tight while you cut. The integrated dust port allows you to connect it to your own collection system. It does include a dust bag, but its small size isn't very useful for larger projects. It also comes with a blade wrench needed to switch out the blade, which is a nice perk. DeWalt is a well-respected brand in the power tool space, and I've always found them to back up their products if any issues come up. At the end, it's capable of easily cutting miter and bevel cuts. The DeWalt DWS 715 packs a ton of versatility into a durable, and easy-to-use package. The last product on our list is the Makita 5007 MG Magnesium Circular Saw. The Makita 5007 MG Magnesium powers through lumber with ease, thanks to its 15-amp motor, lightweight, and easy-to-handle design. There isn't much to dislike about the Makita 5007 MG. It's a reliable workhorse. It's relatively easy to heft and maneuver around, and has a great balance to it, making it surprisingly fun to use. This balanced weight also increases safety, allowing you to maintain better control as you work. Its rubber handle and top-mounted knob also provide a comfortable ergonomic grip as you work. A pair of built-in LEDs lights illuminate the cutting area, allowing you to get a clear look at your cut line. These lights, combined with the dust-blowing feature that clears away dust and debris, increase your cutting accuracy and make for easy and comfortable operating. I also appreciate how large and easy to read the settings and measurements are on the Makita 5007 MG Magnesium Circular Saw. The corded power supply does make the Makita 5007 MG less mobile than the battery-powered option. But unless you're working on a large job site, the cord shouldn't be much of a factor. I used it to rip through plywood and MDF panels as well as to chop through lumber for framing and it's a blast to use. This model includes a coated framing blade to get you started. If you'd like more, there is an option to add a 10-pack of blades for an additional $80.